America's going through a very fundamental change here. Uh, we are electing people in this country to represent us who do, do not have, uh, you know, their, our very best interests at heart. And one thing I can tell you is that the people who are being elected do not have the same values that our forefathers in this country had. Breitbart did a story on her, and they said that Democrat Rashida Tlaib dances with Palestinian flag at Victory Party. Now it says there's a video of uh, Democratic Rashida Tlaib dancing wearing the Palestinian flag at a Victory Party that emerged Tuesday evening after she won the largely uncontested race for the open seat in Michigan's heavily Democratic 13th Congressional District. Now, I want to go ahead and just play a little bit of this here, and I want to get your take on it because I believe that um, people need to un really, truly understand what this is uh, really means here for the U.S. Let me go ahead and... Russia! 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 I want you to know my mom, who's from a small village in the West Bank, they're literally glued. It's like 5 o'clock or 6 o'clock in the morning. And now it's more than that. But they're glued to the TV. My grandmother, my aunts, my uncles in Palestine are sitting by and watching their granddaughter. <laughs> Congressional District. I'll uplift them every single day being who I am as a proud Palestinian American and woman. Yeah. She had a lot to say about how she won. She says that, and this is the only country um, on this side of heaven that allows this type of speech where you can uh, win a governmental race and then you can claim that and claim a different country. Well, it's because I'm Palestinian and I did it for the Palestinians. When you, it, you, you get what I'm saying? when you're in a different country. Kind of bizarre, but what do you think about this? I, I don't even know where to start. Let's begin with the fact that Palestine is not a country. It's never been a country. It was a Roman name for Israel. Um, and after 1967, and Jordan in an attack on Israel lost the West Bank, those territories came uh, under Israeli uh, control and after the Oslo Accords those territories were renamed Palestinian territories because the Arabs that lived there decided they wanted to start a country called Palestine. This gal that just got elected does not come from a country, she comes from an area. So that's number one just in a historical perspective for your viewers to be aware of. Number two in the history of the United States, where every member, 535 of them, men and women, that occupy the 100 seats in the Senate and the 435 seats in the House of Representatives, take their oath. Their oath is to uphold the Constitution of the United States of America to preserve and protect it. That's their oath. They're not Irish Americans or Catholic Americans or German Americans or Canadian Americans or African Americans, they are Americans. And we, as a melting pot, demand that everyone swear allegiance to this country when they serve in its highest body, the House of Representatives and the Senate. And it goes for the president and the vice president as well. This woman is a whack job. Mm -hmm. She thinks that it's okay to show how proud she is to represent a country that doesn't exist instead of being proud to be an American. Here's the kicker. Everybody that takes office swears allegiance to this pledge to uphold and defend the Constitution, which are the American values dating back to 1776, on a Bible. She wants to swear in the Quran. What your viewers don't know, and I'm about to shock them, is 
Muslim men and women are allowed to lie on any contract in any swear in any agreement if that lie will enhance the furtherance of Islam that's terrifying so if she goes to Washington and she holds up her hand and puts her left hand on the Quran and puts her right hand up in the air and says she swears it doesn't mean anything to her nor in the eyes of her religion or in the eyes of her God and I urge your family of viewers to look it up there's also some great mm -hmm. videos on this subject on our website by Annie Cyrus who is an Islamic scholar that will teach people the exact place in the Quran to look up Takiya like I've talked yep, about Takiya. there you, you go yep. know about this yeah so, you know um, I'm it, pretty concerned what's going to happen when she's one of 435 incredibly powerful people mm -hmm. and her allegiance is not to this flag in this country and I hope it concerns everybody absolutely and it should Barry um, you know one thing I want to discuss about this uh, isn't isn't it like they're almost spies in a sense because if you if you really think about it and uh, they they have a doctrine that is very well placed and I'm pretty sure that she's a smart lady right where I'm pretty sure she knows uh, Takiya and, and what it really actually means and she's a devout Muslim just like Ilhan Omar I'm telling you these people know exactly what they're doing and they're using the false compassion as a way to take over the US because they understand that Christianity allows uh, you know this type of compassion uh, overarching compassion I should say um, and based upon that overarching compassion that is our weakness here in this country and um, liberals are playing on it and so are people of color and uh, people like uh, Rashid Talib. now she recently said that I truly believe Trump is a racist now she is, uh, you know, she's in government now. She's saying that she truly believes Trump is a racist. I can tell you she's not for Western civilization. She's almost like a, a, a terrorist um, sitting at, in the government there. Uh, what is going on with this type of rhetoric? And, and how does this type of rhetoric affect, um, you know, just basically the policies that she will probably be voting on and um, bringing into fruition. Yeah, great question. And, and let me go back to your premise about her being a spy. You know, in, in wartime or even in peacetime, a spy is somebody that comes within your miss, midst, um, seems to project they're on your side, mm -hmm. and is accumulating information for the destruction of your side for the benefit of the other side in secret. <laughs> This Congresswoman, Jermaine, is not doing any of this in secret. She does it on Twitter, and she does it in press mm -hmm. conferences. She is proudly, proudly in favor of a number of policies that, frankly, as an American concerned about the security of America, that scare the hell out of me. And it ought to scare your viewers, too, because the, the voters in your neck of the woods um, not your quite neighborhood, but that area, have elected somebody that makes it clear where her allegiance is. <laughs> she does not want to be associated in Congress as a good American. Mm -hmm. She wants to be a Palestinian. Remember, not a country, a movement.